First impressions of Soft Raid are just awesome. I'm on hold right now. I'm ordering Soft Raid. Soft Raid. Why? So I can use this old external drive I have full of two terabyte drives that are all sketchy. This way I can just throw a new drive in there when the other ones die and I don't have to buy a whole bunch of new drives because all this vlogging and information I'm putting on film right now is a lot of data and I gotta handle that. And I'm just gonna be at eight terabytes for this project and I hope that's gonna last me the next few months. I'm shooting in 1080 60p. Two terabyte drive fix the one that is broken in this crazy looking thing here. As soon as uh, this is replaced, then I can use Soft Raid to make all these old junkie drives RAID 1 plus 0 safely. Make this a 1.0, having my <clears throat> data as best saved as possible for having a big stack of really old drives. figured out what drive was dead by its temperature. There was uh, one drive that was ice cold and the rest were lukewarm. Drive's only about six years old. I don't know why it died. There's a lot more to this vlogging than just grabbing a camera. You have to be ready to be prepared to deal with all the data. Shooting in 1080 60p creates a lot of data. Lots and lots of data. These eight two terabyte drives are going to be in RAID 1 plus 0 soft RAID for Mac. It's going to give me air eight terabytes of pretty fast accessible and pretty redundant and dates out at October 2011. This is the second bad drive in this. I don't trust these drives. That's why I'm putting this RAID 1 plus 0 on this setup. Old drives Although these two terabyte drives are good. A lot better than the three terabyte drives. Those things are just garbage. They die like crazy. I bought this in the first four drives back when uh, Thailand had its floods and the hard drives were at a premium for quite a while. These for about $300 a piece when I bought them. The first set of four, I couldn't afford the whole eight drives at 300 and something a piece. So I waited a few months and then I added them. Flood in Thailand and all of a sudden drive prices go through the roof for, God, it was like 18 months or something. It's ridiculous. I read this one story about this uh, back blaze they were buying the damn hard drives in external units and popping them out just to be able to get enough drives to fill up their data center that sound we can confirm that drive is garbage just so I have enough room to put all this stuff data I deal with a lot of data all the time it's ridiculous so <clears throat> and it's on a budget big time 
So, how do I deal with my data? Well, it's been an evolving situation over many years, but started with uh, backing up to these three terabyte drives. So, stuck them on there for a while and got to be a lot of them. And it was like, how do I maintain them? How do I keep up on them? You know, they need to be run at least once a year. And what I just showed you is not even backed up. I haven't been able to get enough drives to back up all that stuff. That's really old stuff. All my current stuff's backed up appropriately as you would have it backed up. Two different locations backed up in the locations itself to a backup. So <clears throat> how to deal with all that that's what this computer here is for, which I call this one the Disk Warrior. And you can see it's crazy on the I.O. And the way I achieved that was <clears throat> some cards that actually plug into SATA controllers and then off into this multiple USB. And that computer there pretty much handles all that there. And I think that's about 70 terabytes or something like that. About, I can't really remember. It's hard to keep the amounts straight. So then we have here, right here is, so this is a, this is a 4.1 Mac single processor this is a 1 1 mac pro with the upgraded i think i got upgraded processors into this that basically make it like a 2 1 it's two processor completely overkill for a file server but it's what i have and they're cheap so inside of that i have four 10 terabyte HGST running in a, a cons consecrated RAID altogether. So it's 40 terabyte RAID with no redundancy. It's just a big RAID. And that I use good sync to sync with what I have at the office. And uh, I'll show you here in a second. Another location. That good sync program is, cannot recommend that program enough. That is super good program. Then what I have here, this is my first big external I bought. And I bought this, uh, and I just did a video about the <clears throat> raid in this, but I bought this in 2011, put uh, four drives in it, two terabyte drives. All this will handle is two terabyte drives. It's too old to handle anything different than that. <clears throat> so currently it's running a RAID, soft RAID, uh, one plus zero. So it's got mirrored striped uh, <clears throat> RAID in it. So there's eight drives in there. That gives me eight total terabytes of storage. And where this is all the footage that from my vlogging and anything that I do uh, myself. All this other stuff's all from my production company. So, but I just kind of keep it all in one pile here. Um, that represents, boy, I don't even know how much. Uh, Gosh, I know there's over a hundred terabytes there. <clears throat> All right, so I'm at my office now, and here is the other side of the network. So again, two one one Mac Pros with the. 2-1 processor switched out in them and they're running the SFOTT so they have Yosemite on them 
and this one's got uh, four drives, four drives, four drives, four drives. <clears throat> these are both four terabytes, so these are 16s. This is a, uh, these the operating systems on a regular hard drive. On the other one I have it on a SSD and a PCIe slot. <clears throat> so these just have three drives that are running the RAID. And one of them is three four terabytes and the other one is three six terabytes, depending on which one it is. First impressions of Soft Raid are just awesome. Like I'm not worried about the drives being extremely old uh, drives. I'm not, uh, and the 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 <clears throat> transfer speeds are pretty righteous for just you know being across FireWire. I mean, I'm getting like over a gig a minute, so I'm pretty happy with this thing. Um, <clears throat> it's ridiculous though, really. You know, they got this thing, it's called a Stornator, man. It's all you need in one. So hopefully I'll be working my way up to one of those soon. And then we'll have some seriously relaxed, all the data sitting in a giant RAID 10 or 1 plus 0, whatever. And not having to worry about it. Because there's a lot of stress with a lot of data, just to be honest with you. I and mean, it's like drives fail, I gotta rebuild raids. It's just constant, constantly uh, having this many computers, this much data is a lot of work. Uh, it's a lot of work. And it's very expensive too. The last time I bought drives, <clears throat> it was with $2,000 for four drives. Yeah. So, Stornator is only 12,000 though. Just got an error code on the sync program that the drives are full at the office. That means I had to pull the trigger on the new raid. And uh, now I gotta go to the office and figure out what all my drive speeds are. That way when I'm ordering the few drives that I need, hopefully I'm not gonna need more. I don't get a bunch of drives of different speeds. Yeah, it's a mess. Hmm, 7200 or 5600? <clears throat> so the drives count out where I've got six, six terabytes, 7200s. I've got four, four terabytes, 7200s. And I've got eight four terabyte 5900s. So I can't afford to buy sixes. That would just be ridiculous. I would love to be able to buy sixes and just have that much room, but that would be a couple thousand bucks more, which right now I put an offer in on a bunch of uh, four 7200s. Uh, 12 of them and uh, at 75 bucks a piece maybe I'll win them maybe not <sighs> yeah so expensive ah, just got the quattro in the mail I'm talking quiet because there's a shoot going on downstairs um, this is my first workstation editing specific video card I got it off eBay for $200 I have to go to Best Buy now to get the appropriate adapters for the display card because I don't have those that's gonna make it longer than I was just suspecting it to be before I can insert it I got the employee on standby better tell him to hold off so that uh, We'll see what it compares to the GTX 7, whatever. 
some GTX 700 something that I have in there. It's a game word, 6 gig. This is a 6 gig. Hopefully, this is going to note some improvements. Okay, I'm on my way to the Best Buy to get the DP adapters. And uh, we're having an apocalypse here right now of ash, raining ash. Like, you can see that ash. Oh, uh, here it's even better. I was trying to stay out of the weather, but <clears throat> the gain word seven whatever that's in there now, 750. Anyway, I need to send that, John. So I gotta go out and some more. And this is extra annoying when you. I'm the person that invented the drone that is supposed to end forest fires, but I couldn't find funding for it. Come on. Seven eighty. That's what it is. So I got these display port adapters. Didn't get the right ones. Need the whole new cord. All right, it works. Nvidia Quadro six thousand.